Hello, everyone. My name is Daria Mordashova, and the title of my talk is Comparative Constructions in the Russian Constructicon, Families and Clusters. First of all, I'm going to make a short introduction into the presentation of comparative construction in typology, the structure of such constructions and uh, their major types. Uh, then I will proceed with an overview of comparative constructions in the Russian Constructicon. And after that, uh, we'll dive a little bit deeper to the semantic subtypes of comparison and their internal structure. Uh, we'll try to identify constructional families based on our data. And finally, uh, make an attempt at building a whole network of comparative constructions in our resource. All right, an elephant is bigger than a cat. This is a typical example of uh, a comparative construction. And uh, there are five constituents that are usually distinguished in this construction in typological studies. Uh, an elephant is called a compare, something being compared against something else. And a standard, a cat, is entity that the compare is compared against. They are compared, of course, uh, based on some parameter or property of comparison. Here is the size of these two animals. And there are also grammatical markers of comparison, the marker of the standard, which is the conjunction then, and the degree or parameter marker, which is the suffix er here. Uh, there is, of course, a vast amount of literature on the expression of comparison, uh, both from a typological perspective or informal frameworks. Uh, and typologists usually distinguish between two major types of comparison. The first type is called quantitative comparison, divided into inequality, Mary is taller than Peter, and equality, Mary is as tall as John. And the second major type is called qualitative comparison, uh, which deals with similarity of two entities, either real similarity, Peter is like Mary, or unreal or pretended similarity, sometimes also called simulation, Peter behaves as if he were a child. Uh, according to Trace, expression of similarity are usually not included in the typological works on the expression of comparison, with the only exception of the work by Hasspilmat and Buchholz. Uh, and this is probably the reason why the term simulation tends to be the least elaborated of them all. Uh, in typological studies, it is very common that uh, comparative constructions are viewed uh, with a focus on morphology and or syntax, and usually one core type of expression or construction is viewed from all the possible angles in a cross-linguistic perspective. For Russian, there also exist detailed studies of separate construction as well as thorough descriptions of semantics and morphosyntax of uh, degrees of comparison and comparative constructions in general. This talk might seem a bit unusual for the typological context as we bring a construction grammar perspective to the understanding of a comparative construction and take into account such constructions which uh, are usually neglected in typological works like Vasya's papi adno litso, Vasya and his father look very much alike. Literally, uh, this construction uh, is something like Vasya with father one face. And uh, there are also um, very many uh, uh, similar constructions. Um, so while a lot of in-depth studies examine individual comparative constructions or a variety of means employed, uh, employed across languages, still little is known about the typology of comparative constructions in a single language. So the key questions for my talk are the following ones. How are large networks of constructions organized? What principles motivate their relationships? Uh, and can we learn more about them from calculating relative distribution of construction across the major types of comparison? And what types out of them are most numerous and which ones are sparsely represented uh, within a system of a single language? Now we are moving on to the data in the Russian Constructicon. And as you can see, the uh, semantic type of comparison uh, is among the 20 largest semantic types, uh, including 164 comparative constructions. Uh, this semantic type within our uh, classification is included into the uh, large uh, semantic class qualia uh, in the subgroup of properties together with cell and property and uh, temporary characteristic. Uh, and uh, we distinguish uh, five different subtypes of comparison in our resource. The first three subtypes are perfectly in line with uh, what is uh, given in the typological studies. These are inequality, similarity, and equality, and I'm not going to further elaborate on them. Uh, but the fourth 
And fifth types are slightly different from the typological classification. So we do not uh, use the term simulation at, as it yields uh, some particular uh, connotations for uh, at least the Russian speaking audience as simulatsia in Russian is something uh, related to pretending of being ill. Uh, so we use uh, a more neutral uh, in this respect term imitation uh, to refer to a fake similarity of two entities. And we also introduced a fifth uh, subtype of comparison uh, which is uh, named as contrast or uh, a position between two entities with regard to a certain property. And this term should not be confused with uh, contrast in uh, discourse studies or uh, information structure theory, uh, which is closely related to such terms as topic and focus. So this is more like semantic or content category synonymous to an opposition uh, rather than something from the discourse theory. Uh, so far, uh, we've got uh, five semantic subtypes which, which correspond to five clusters of constructions. They include several families, and a family is uh, a grouping of usually two to nine constructions that are nearly synonymous. Some members of the family may also share a similar syntactic structure and anchor words. Uh, and uh, across 164 comparative constructions, uh, we have distinguished so far 33 constructional families. The most numerous cluster is the cluster of contrast with 50 constructions and 10 constructional families. And the most sparsely represented cluster is imitation with uh, 13 constructions and uh, only two constructional families. Uh, the other three subtypes are nearly equally represented in numbers. Uh, some constructions uh, may belong to more than just one semantic type. Uh, so in addition to uh, comparison, uh, it may be characterized by some particular degree of intensity. For instance, uh, the noise became louder and louder. Or uh, in addition to contrast, uh, uh, the construction may belong to the semantic type pluriactionality and the alternation subtype when the two actions alternate uh, between each other, когда вовремя придет, когда опоздает, sometimes he's on time, sometimes he's late. Uh, as for the syntactic patterns of comparative constructions, uh, there are plenty of them, but uh, the most frequent ones, as you can see, are head plus modifier construction, connection construction, and copula construction. Uh, so now we are moving to the central part of the talk, and we will uh, zoom in into uh, the internal structure of each of the five clusters of comparative construction. Uh, starting from inequality, uh, here in uh, the green uh, frame, there are two core or prototypical constructional families uh, for the cluster of inequality. Uh, they uh, are uh, distinguished on the ways of marking the standard of comparison either with the help of a comparative conjunction or with genitive case. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to comment uh, on every example uh, given in the frames. Um, and in uh, thin green frames, uh, there are uh, two uh, different uh, groups of families um, united on uh, different grounds. For instance, uh, one of uh, the groups of families is intensified inequality, uh, where the families are distinguished uh, with regard to different subtypes of uh, degree of intensity. And uh, on the right side, uh, there are uh, superlative constructions, uh, which also have different uh, means of expression of the standard of comparison, for instance, with um, a prepositional, uh, group or uh, with a pronoun or noun in the genitive case. And there is also a small family of constructions with the superlative degree of uh, adverbs do something the most x way, for instance, как нельзя лучше, как нельзя хуже. So uh, both these groups of families uh, overlap with another large semantic uh, type degree of intensity. Uh, moving on to similarity, uh, we see that the center or uh, the core of this cluster is represented by biclosal constructions with uh, comparative conjunctions, for instance, CAC. Uh, and uh, this meaning of similarity may be further specified uh, 
in different ways. For instance, uh, it can uh, account uh, mostly for visual similarity uh, with different ways of uh, syntactic expression of this uh, semantics uh, by predicative constructions, похож на, uh, nominal patterns, голова тыквы, or verb patterns, напоминать, uh, resemble something. Um, or it can be specified uh, uh, through a reference to uh, some prototype or a well-known entity, for example, Raskas Vduhi Chekhova, a story in the spirit of Chekhov, uh, or um, it can be um, a, a different um, contrasting strategy can be used when we refer to a prototype and then name uh, just generally all the similar entities within this group by if so такое or and so on, etc. Um, and on the periphery of this cluster uh, is situated a small um, family, uh, which is called intensification through similarity, uh, where um, this comparative uh, group uh, does not bear the pure meaning of similarity. It is rather uh, a bit blurred here. And strašny kak chort does not necessarily mean that the person is ugly or terrible uh, as the devil. It just means that he's very ugly or very terrible. So there is an overlap with degree of intensity. And I would also like to give you an example of a nice uh, family of constructions. So we'll zoom uh, a little bit in into this cluster and look into the family of similarity through a reference uh, to a prototype or a well-known entity, uh, you see that all these constructions are um, very much alike in terms of both semantics and syntax. We have these anchor words сродни, наподобие, в духе, на манер, по типу, в стиле, and типа. And the first two um, anchor words are derived denominal prepositions. Um, and uh, the other uh, anchor words here are rather uh, prepositional phrases or already derived prepositions. So this is a debatable question. Uh, probably uh, we deal here with an instance of incipient grammaticalization or if you wish constructionalization. Uh, but the analysis of uh, this issue uh, falls beyond the scope of this talk. But it's really an interesting question. Um, the third cluster uh, is equality, and the center of this cluster is again by clausal constructions. Как скажете, так и сделаю. I'll do as you say. And this meaning of equality may be further specified. Uh, either it is equality of degree, такой же мере как, um, equality of appearance, Катя вылетая мама. Kat is just like her mother, or equality of level, uh, which can be uh, understood in both physical and metaphorical senses. Linux была популярна наравне с Windows. Linux was as popular as Windows. Uh, and on the periphery of this cluster, there are two constructional families. The first one uh, actually uh, deals with uh, co-referential objects, exactly the same. Один и тот же, одно и то же стихотворение means that uh, pupils are learning uh, one and the same poem. Um, and the uh, second constructional family here um, includes reduplicative patterns, where equality is a, a way to refer to the core essence or a prototype. Uh, fact is fact, effect is effect, is an instance of uh, a pseudo-tautological construction. So uh, that's why uh, here this construction um, belongs uh, at the same time to another semantic type, cell and property. Uh, with uh, the subtypes of either essence or matching the standards. So this is the periphery of the equality cluster. Uh, the fourth cluster, imitation, uh, can be divided uh, with regard either uh, uh, of either syntax or semantics. So uh, if we look at uh, the division from the angle of syntax, we'll see that uh, there are two different uh, construction types, uh, head plus modifier construction or predicate argument construction or metrics and subordinate clause constructions, which focus either on a property which has been annotated, uh, 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 which has been imitated uh, or on an activity of uh, this imitation. But we prefer the division based on semantics as uh, uh, it's possible uh, to distinguish uh, which family is more 
uh, prototypical and which one is less prototypical. So uh, the prototype here, according to our view, is uh, intended imitation. He pretended to be asleep on Pretvarial Suspecium. Uh, and uh, the other family is uh, so-called un unintended imitation, for instance, through a false impression. Принять за кого-то, mistake someone for uh, someone. But uh, these families are uh, rather heterogeneous in terms of syntax, as they include both uh, types of, bo uh, of syntactic patterns, which are named here. Um, it's interesting that this uh, category of imitation uh, turned out to be highly lexical or constructional, as there are no grammaticalized means of expression of this category, at least for Russian. And finally, we are moving on to the contrast uh, cluster, where uh, we've distinguished the core uh, three constructional families, uh, including contrast of objects, both objects or situations, or strictly situations. Uh, the uh, last family can be specified uh, with regard to what kinds of uh, situations are contrasted to each other, either they are real or potential, or they include some kind of concession. Um, uh, and uh, there is also a separate family on the periphery of this cluster, which overlaps with the semantic type plurictionality and the alternation subtype when uh, two actions alternate between each other. He alternated between crying and threatening. And there are also two more uh, constructional families uh, um, uh, accounting for either contrast through reduplication, which pupils are different, uh, and some kind of uh, contrast with a metalinguistic nature when we oppose uh, two different nominations of one and the same entity, uh, where the uh, second nomination uh, fits the reality better than uh, the first one. Not a friend, rather an acquaintance. Um, then uh, there is also a separate uh, constructional family uh, which we refer to as evaluative or emphatic contrast, uh, where the contrasted entity is uh, assessed as uh, something positive or, on the contrary, negative for the speaker. Он был настоящим другом, не то что твой брат. So this, uh, he was a real friend, not like your brother. Your brother is assessed in a negative way uh, from the side of the speaker. Um, and uh, the family intensified contrast um, uh, is situated on the periphery of this cluster as uh, she felt twice as happy, uh, might be also classified as an instance of inequality um, or uh, contrasting uh, states of one and the same subject. All right, so now very quickly we'll look at the network of comparative constructions. Uh, the uh, four clusters are form kind of a scale from uh, total equality of uh, two entities uh, to uh, complete inequality or difference between the two entities. Uh, and the center of uh, the scale is occupied by the clusters of similarity and inequality. Um, um, inequality tends to be cognitively the core cluster of this network, as comparison here is made with regard to a certain gradable and one-dimensional property, and the items are assigned uh, different positions on a scale. Similarity is also very important for uh, this network, as it is another type of comparison uh, which is made with regard to some multifaceted notion, for example, the manner of doing something. Um, Contrast uh, turned out to be the most numerous cluster uh, within this network with plenty of overlaps with other semantic types. And imitation is situated on the periphery somewhere in between uh, similarity and inequality at, as it includes both fake similarity and covert inequality. And this cluster is most sparsely represented. All right, so what are the conclusions of this talk? Uh, I've uh, made an attempt uh, at building a structured network of comparative constructions for Russian. Uh, and uh, my study uh, provided detailed evidence on the internal structure of the clusters, uh, which can be modeled as uh, radial categories with more and less prototypical families of constructions. Uh, I've shown that the families within a cluster are related on different semantic grounds, uh, for instance, specification, which is quite often, but also intensification, generalization, and emphasizing. 
Uh, the findings are relevant for construct ecography and typological studies. Uh, we've introduced an additional relevant cluster to the domain of comparison, which is the cluster of contrast. Uh, it is viewed as rather a content um, and not just uh, discourse or information structural category. And uh, imitation uh, turned out to be a highly constructional category, at least, at least for the languages like Russian. Uh, and uh, accounting for construction as opposed to focusing solely on morphological or syntactic means of expressing comparison significantly expands the representation of the comparative domain in a given language. Uh, these are the references. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>